Hello everyone, welcome in, I hope you're all doing well. We're here with another episode. Pat Riley. We're gonna take it a lot slower today, hopefully. I need some rest. But I can't just not stream for a day like that. I am here, doing a stream. Kangia on in case we don't run into any RP. You can still, you know, goof around a little bit. Just, you know, try to tone it down. Let's not go crazy. Uh, sound alerts should work. I don't know. Um, we'll see. If they don't, I'll fix that eventually. Oh yeah, today is going to be generally a bit of a, um, a calmer pace. Um, we will do some fishing, we'll probably do some ranch work, you know, get a bit of coin together. Because, um, I mean, Hales is being a pain in my butt, so I need a, I need a better horse. So that's what we're saving up for. While simultaneously also trying to save up for the cart that would allow myself and Mr. Tulliver to go on bigger fishing trips. And transport some goods if need be ever.
Hello. You don't have to be shy. No need to dress up for me to see. You're a good man. Oh, mountain cat. What? That's right. That's right. I've never encountered a cougar out here before. That's new. It's okay. I need to stop doing that. I need to quit stopping when I see a predator until I know I can take it. Yeah, some of it. Some of it's my blood. It's actually not a bad hitching spot. I'll take it. I'll take this. I'll give you that. Thank you, horsey.
Just in case. If the cougar goes bad, I'll keep its skin at least. There we go. And for those of you who were there when I talked about the uh, Twitch chat integration um, fishing game, I looked into it. It will end up. Um, it will cost us about $6 to implement at some point. So, not too bad at all. But, yeah, I haven't yet. What the frick? Hello? What the fuck? My fishing rod is busted. Can I still not? What the frick? You are hereby fucking unable to fish. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, we'll go to the nearest butcher, sell all this crap, and relog. Because, yay, bugs. Happens to the best of us. Let's see. Nearest butcher, of course, is Blackwater.
Not a great start, I'm sorry. Probably for the best, actually, because I would have been there and this would have rotted away. Not that a white tail is worth that much, but still, you know, every little bit helps. Yeah, white tails are just common, so they don't fetch too much. All right, we're gonna relog to hopefully fix that bug, and then we're gonna try that fishing trip.
We'll go over there to test. And then if it works, we'll go to the other fishing spot. Lots of people out and about. That's good to see.
seems to be fixed. Very nice. Oh. Fishing without bait probably won't work too well. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna go to the other fishing spot if this one's yielding a good amount of fish with relative ease. can't really see where my lure is.
going to reset my cast. What? That was pathetic. How? Is it the rocks? Is that what's doing that? It sure was. Alright, not bad.
getting some good bites here. Although... seems that the fish are a little more picky than I'm used to. I can see that fish splashing back there, but I don't know if I'm getting any interest from it. Oh, no, because my line is much closer than I thought. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Those fish went away. Um, hmm. Oh, good. Our horse is still there. First, second, I thought something might have gone wrong. Seven up. Dude, Aramore looks wild. <laughs> yeah, and that might be because it's wild RP. Welcome to the chat. It's very good to see you again. How are you doing? They finally add fish. My goodness. The memes are strong in this one. Life's going swimmingly? That's good. Very good to hear indeed. What 
about life across the pond. It's going. We're having a lot of fun with uh, Wild RP, at least, so there's that. And just like that, all the fish have gone dormant again. Very weird. There's not exactly anywhere else they're hanging out. Not around here anyway. Time to find a new place. Come on, hills. Let's find a better spot, shall we? I'm just gonna chase those fish down. <laughs> But preferably without drowning the horse. Oh, come on, buddy. Just trying to make sure you don't get swept away. Son of a bitch. All right, okay. that's fine. I guess I deserved that. You little monster, what the frick is wrong with you? Getting a new horse, buddy. Obsecu shenanigans. Sick of them. Anyway, what have you been up to game wise? Seven.
Eh, it was worth trying to make some skewered fish. If that was gonna be a thing. Now all of China knows I'm here. Always worth checking the shore for any fish that washed up. Because if there are, we can get them and eat them. Well, get them, cook them, eat them. We don't like them raw. That's the gold panning thing. I'll we'll have to try this sometime, see what this particular area yields. I don't know what those shots were, but I know I don't like it. I'll just sit here for a minute. might take a while for the fish to actually show up. If this place hasn't been fished dry today, there is that.
gotta clean up after ourselves. up here, okay. Yes, indeed. Hopefully we don't get... Well, I won't finish that sentence just in case that manifests whatever I was thinking. I'll just hope for the best. Oh, sir.
For someone who said whoa so many times, he doesn't seem actually phased. What an odd NPC line. Okay, just follow the route easy enough. Not a rock. That is a rock. Okay, well, just in case it was a sleeping bear. Yeah, no, I'd rather look. Hit you on one of these or what? Huh? You gonna be stubborn? Stubborn boy. All right. I don't think you're actually my boy. Run. And with that, I mean, I think the horse was bugged. Large mouth bass. Nice.
Hmm. Small fish. It's weird that my microphone keeps picking up random breaths. That's that's uh, disconcerting. Hmm. Let's see, where are we at? Wait, what? Oh, we don't have any room anymore. I see, I see. I'd rather have the rock bass than the sticks, thank you. Ah, uh, wait, why well, swear our limit's two? Okay. We'll put that back in here. I forgot to leave the binoculars on the horse. That could have helped. Oh well. Coyotes. that that's a horse a couple of wild horses actually couldn't tell from that distance If I had a bow and arrow, this is where I'd be shooting turkeys. Obviously only two of them, because that's all you can store on a horse, but still, I'd grab them. Because they're pretty good money for being so small.
pretty quiet up here. Weird. Usually there's more than one hunter, but... That massive waterfall roar. <laughs> Is there a way down? Whoa, whoa, don't do that. You crazy horse. Can we, like, not self destruct? That'd be great, thank you. Alright, so this is just a little platform. It's not somewhere you're meant to be going down to. Alright. Let's get out of here. Crazy, crazy boy. This is completely the wrong way. Yeah, it's the long way around. Hey. Hello. You haven't run away by now. You disappeared, didn't you? Oh no, okay. I know. Perfect pelt, hell yeah. That was brutal.
Oh, we can just keep following this. That's pretty good. Now we're going to sell all of this stuff in the appropriate places. Forty-six, yeah, fifty-two-ish total. I think hunting, unless you're bait hunting, really is not worth it at all. Thanks for holding on to this, bud.
Let's see if that horse means that there's anyone inside the saloon. We can still grab his too. We'll see if we've gotten a message back. Now we do. to strawberry and see see who's there sorry I'm yawning a lot I'm so tired I stayed up way too late last night but it was so good That militia, welcome on in. It's very good to have you again. I hope you're doing well. It, it is Pat indeed. How goes civilian life? It's going pretty well. I mean, frick, I do need some serious like, rest. <laughs> That's why I'm taking it slow on today's stream as well. Because um, I stayed up super late to do everything that we did last stream. And now I am. <laughs> Imagine. Hi, Owl. Bye, Owl. Now we're going up to Strawberry to see who all is there.
Let's see if Wolfie's there, maybe. Say hi to him. And if nobody's there, well, you know, then we're not too far from good fishing spots, so... We'll do some more of that. Also, in all honesty, um, after stream yesterday to this morning, really, um, I watched a few more streams. Wild RP followed some deputies, and man, they—it feels like they live in a completely different world. Holy crap! They have so much going on; it's insane. I told them. You know, uh, that civilian ignorance is bliss, man. <laughs> we don't have to carry the weight of the crossing on our shoulders. Yeah. Pretty hectic. something else. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I yawn a lot. <laughs> Alright. Um... Hmm, what might be a good fishing spot near here? I guess we could go check out the Dakota River, why not? Just riding, sir. You wanted to take up all the road. Dick. Some of these locals.
That looked like the logging camp back there. So if we ever wanted to help um, do those quests, those jobs, we should keep that in mind. We'll cross here, and then we will ride down to our right. What is wrong with you? I just, I really can't stick with this horse. It's too nervous. I don't know if that's RNG or if that's just how they are, but damn. Wild horses? Yeah. Boo! Run away! This is going to be the one river that has zero fish in it, isn't it? Different horses do seem to have different skittishness. Yeah, they do. I just wish this one wasn't as <laughs> as skittish as it appears to be. Cause dang, Hales is really bad about it. He's a, a Norfolk Roadster, I think? Something like that. Not very well suited to life in the West. All just current. Current, 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 current. 
The Dakota River might just be one of those that's too wild, maybe? We'll go up and see the northern part of this river, see if there's anywhere. Any kind of fishing to be done there. That'll take me to Valentine, so I would just want to cut across here. in Valentine. That was close. One of these days I'm gonna yeet myself and my horse off a cliff. Purely by inattention or bad luck. That's a deer or a mountain goat. Just having a drink. Clean kill. Oh, and it was right at a fishing spot. Well, that's cool. Actually, no, because you're going to get annoyed. Let's hitch you up. There you go. I think I have the lake lure on currently. Yep, that I do.
Gotcha. Gotcha. So far, a bunch of these fish have seemed cooperative. That's nice. Of course, now that I've said that.
Looks like I really just can't comment on the fish behavior or they change it around completely. New fishies looking to be stubborn now. Oh, what a tease. I think the rain has made them move, yeah. Finally, all right, here we go.
Thank you for your sacrifice, Fishy. What are we doing back there, fishies? We taking the bait or are we just looking at it? Do you think it's a pretty bait? I guess you do. <laughs> Yoink. Oh hey, a bluegill. It's been a while. Oh, a rock bass. Huh. Similar, very similar. get too many of you. Perch. And that's my bag's full. That was awesome. Alright, if this deer isn't rotten by the time we get there, we'll drop it off at the butchers at Valentine. And uh, then we'll ride back down to Blackwater to the fishmongers. Pretty good haul. Quite pleased with it. Books is not bad. No, they got eighteen in. So, heck yeah. Hello. Oh, 
Oops. I think to Blackwater, it'll be through here. Good stuff. I didn't realize fishing was pretty good up here. It's good to know. I'll be happy to tell Mr. Tulliver whenever I see him again. Oh, sir. That was awkward for a second. Now we get to ride through some beautiful country on our way back. Heck yes. That person looked like they were headed towards Valentine. Possibly Strawberry. Whoa! That was law. They tend to do callouts like that. Okay, that was scary for a second. six people going to Valentine. All right. This is a dangerous spot.
Alright, sometimes down by the river there's wolves, though. That's why I was a little tense there. And also why I said it was dangerous. Son of a bitch. Well, I fought for my life. <laughs> I thought so too, but that one wolf just wouldn't go down and the other one kept tearing into me. <laughs> Holy shit. True. A sidearm would have been great. I just, I just tend not to carry them because, you know, sidearms are mostly for people. But I do have one. I should have got it. At least he's not trying to eat me or anything, he's just sort of sitting next to me, like, he respects the effort. <laughs> What did you just come into? Uh, I fought a pack of four wolves, killed one, grievously injured a second, and then the third and fourth ran off. Oh no. Don't you go down, you're meant to help me! <laughs> That one's already dead, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? What is he even shooting at anymore? Oh. Might be server desync where he thinks that one is still standing.
<laughs> Come back here, help man down. No, no, he's far. Like <laughs> he ran past very quickly. I look how you feel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome in, Tris. It's good to have you. I'm sorry you're not feeling great. And of course, welcome in, Alma. It's good to have you, too. And I'm sorry you also don't feel so good. Oh my goodness. So many people not feeling good. I'm so sorry. Your own fault you'd gone to bed earlier. Ugh, me last night. I'm so tired. I have been all day. <laughs> <laughs> also say <same. laughs> Yeah. Weekend things. 8.30 a.m. And just never went to sleep until then. <laughs> Death. Alright, let's cry for help. Help. got six hours you think you're good now just feel like crap oh, okay well feeling like crap sucks so i'm sorry but i hope you feel better sooner rather than later i hope i fall and i can't get up yep <laughs> pretty much got a lurk need to find caffeine i respect the search for the waking elixir see you in a little bit <laughs> Life alert! Yes. <laughs> also, while I'm not in active RP, you know, you are allowed to use some of the Tangia stuff. Just, you know, use sparingly. Did that actually play anything? No. What it should have done is say two hours later. Oh, it's pending. What? Um, okay. An attempt was made. Yeah, no worries. I'm gonna fix this for ya.
Help. Please, sir. He looks like he heard us. What the fuck? Oh God, I'm coming. Oh, thank goodness. Damn, you alright, fella? Yeah, I just ran into a pack of wolves. I'm gonna see him about. Scare him off? Uh, I killed one, grievously injured another, and I think the other two scattered when a rider went by. Let me get you down to the wagon first. Alrighty. Alright, you're good for me to move you? Yeah. Alright, hold up. No stretching. Let's go. Mm. Here we go. My, my <sighs> game froze. Oh, goodness. Just the stream video that's frozen? Oh, okay. How are your wounds feeling? Are you. Are you gonna need to see a doctor? Uh. Uh. I think if I can get somebody just to pack the wounds or bandage them or something, that'd be fine. All right, I'm not a I'm not a doctor by any means. But I should have something on the wagon. I can at least patch you up a little bit. Hold up. Okie dokie. Did that fix anything? Let me go to the BRB screen and then switch back from there. All right, we should be good here if they. Is that better? Nice. Already. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. All right. All right. You got to tell me where it's uh, where it's hurting at. Like I said, I don't know much about medical. I can get you sorted at least. You're not bleeding all over the place. <laughs> cool. get that sword for you. The applause worked. Oh, yeah. Hey there, fella. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed you. Oh, goodness. Oof. And they're off. You thought it was just going to be an emoji? <laughs> I mean, I kind of like that it was a sound thingy that actually worked.
That is quite a bit better, actually. Wait, can you not hear me? Hello. Oh, uh, yeah. My <laughs> team speak is crashing. What a bad time for that to happen. Go. <laughs> This is where Windows becomes an issue, right? It takes a half hour or something for something to fully crash. Uh. I, I just clocked on for the more. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. Had a bit of dirt in my ears. Yeah, yeah racking maybe when I Good. put you down over here. Yeah, might have been. <laughs> Either well, way, yeah. thank you. I appreciate your help. Yeah, no problem. The ranger says she'll, she'll take you up to Strawberry if, you're, if you need to see a doctor or something. I mean, in these kinds of cases, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Yeah, I reckon so. Yes. In All right, shall I hop on the back? Yeah, yeah. Feel free to, to hop on. If you hand me the hand, trust them. Or... No. <laughs> I'm always going to try first. All right. Uh, be safe out there now. You stay safe. Thank out there. you again, sir. I appreciate it. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Alec. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Pat Riley. Pat? Pat. <laughs> yeah. Is it the, the third time that I meet you? I think so. These kinds of things just oh, tend to nice blur to together. You again. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> yeah, I think the first time was in Blackwater. State. Oh yeah. The second time, I'm not sure if it was another wolf attack or. A town. Mm, I think the second time might have been a cougar attack. Cougar. Had plenty of those in the past few days. <laughs> You'll have plenty to come, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, definitely. They are very sneaky. It's not me saving someone, it's them uh, getting me. So. 
Ah. Either. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen too often either. Now's about the time I pick up a nickname for the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, that might well happen. It's just gonna send a tip. How can okay. If nobody's gonna come in 10 minutes, I can uh, wake up the local doctor, John. Alrighty, so. much obliged. I may need to just start carrying stuff like bandages and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I can just see it now. Pat Riley, Predator Magnet. Or something. Oh, uh, we fought so hard, though. <laughs> I was hitting that beast with a... <laughs> I was hitting that beast with a cleaver. <laughs> I feel like I need to talk to the devs. Cleavers need to do more damage. <laughs> Pat Wolfbait Riley. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Pat Wolfbait Riley.
to that dude. Hey, you know? Or did that just freeze the stream? Yeah, hang on. Did I hang on? you just is screwed. gonna just eat that and then have a sip I'm sorry, I got caught up in something. <laughs> Do you need any food? Any water? Come again? With me. Okay. I've sent it a tip and maybe they are coming. Uh, if you would like to take a seat, feel free. You said it was wolf attack, right? And... Uh, sorry, probably you have some bees around you. Badly did they get you? <laughs> How badly did the wolves get you?
fix this. There's nothing I can do about it. Fucking Tangia, man! Forget about Tangia. Doesn't work. I'm gonna delete it from the channel. Simple. No more alt tab and bullshit. I'm sorry I took your toy. But the toy was breaking me. It's always awkward when you've botched things to the point where you have to log out and back in. Because then it's like, well, you can't tell them that that's what you're going to do. They're just going to have to roll with it. Luckily, the load-in isn't too bad.
buddy. Uh, are you my wolf bite victim? <laughs> yes, unfortunately I am. You mind taking a seat? I'll take a look at you. I'm sorry it took me a little while to get here. I just got out of surgery in Valentine. Oh, that's okay. I do hate to keep y'all waiting. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I know you're all busy. Oh, you're important, though. Did the local nurse or the, uh, the ranger help you out any? Yeah, the ranger and uh, someone who had some field medical training. All right, let's take a look and see if you need any stitches. You have a lot of dances with wolves. <laughs> to the point where I think I'm starting to get a reputation amongst the rangers that I might be a living wolf bait. Be careful, though, you say it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, indeed. I got a lot of friends who suffer from what I like to call animal magnetism. My name's Medic Prim, by the way. I should have introduced myself. That's okay. <laughs> Those medical emergencies tend to take precedence. And well, I'm still n nice to introduce myself sometimes. True, but your mind's in problem solve remote. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of describe it as going into the tunnel. <laughs> kind of like you go on a train and everything kind of goes dark around you. You know, you're still moving. It's going to sting a little bit, but I want to get him cleaned up. That's fair enough. I'm Pat Riley, by the way. Why do I feel like I've heard that name? Maybe I read it in a report or something. Maybe. You're not one of our field medics, are you? No. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> what is it you uh, do by trade, if you don't mind my asking? I mostly do ranch work, though after having done that for Quite a Riley, couple of days in a row. We met the other day in Rhodes with Seth and Atticus. That was yeah. you, wasn't it? That was indeed, yeah. That's where I knew the name from. See, I told you <laughs> I'm sober sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Dear me, what a way to have met. I knew I knew that name from somewhere. Hey, you got there. It's awful with some patients. I just remember what I treated them for and I have to hurriedly run through in my head and try to figure out what their name was because I can't be calling them wolf bite on forearm <laughs> and <laughs> stitches in right ankle. And that one guy with a gunshot wound to his foot. And that one fella who insists he fell on the knife. Sure. <laughs> well, I got some good news for you. All right. It doesn't look like you're going to need no stitches. Fantastic. Bad news, this is probably going to be a little sore for a couple of days. And you're going to have to look after it so it don't get infected. When it starts scabbing, please do not pick at the scabs. That's the body doing its job. It's normal for it to be a little itchy, but if it starts feeling like you got fire ants on your body, please come in and see us. If you start looking like it's pussing, or it's blistering, anything like that. Again, please come in and see us so we can take a look at it. And when uh, you are cleaning it, you want to dab, not scrub. Dab, not scrub. Mm-hmm. Damp cloth, mm -hmm. just dab, dab. Alrighty. Alright. I am going to wrap this with a bandage just for you today. Just to protect it a little. Uh, if you do notice, it starts bleeding a lot again uh then definitely come in just in case it's gotten worse but i i think it probably is done for now i'll clot it up and clean yeah i'm not but feeling you shouldn't have to trickles. keep a bandage on it yeah i'm not seeing any spurts trickles or anything else <laughs> i think you're okay
But yes, should the situation worsen, I will definitely go to the nearest medical office. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. In the medical office, we, we don't care for tough guys pretending like there ain't something wrong. It's much nicer to, to know what's going on as soon as we can. That way we can actually help. Yeah. I'll take I'm... someone crying as long as they're telling me where it hurts. <laughs> Well, I've never been brought up to, you know, to pretend nothing's wrong, because my ma was similar to pretty much all the medics in the crossing I've met so far. <laughs> She'd be like, if you're bleeding, I want to hear about it. If you're feeling itchy or if you're feeling like you have a stuffy nose, anything at all, you tell me right that second. So, okay. <laughs> Well, that is you all cleaned up and wrapped. Should be good. Thank you very kindly. Do me a favor. Try not to be puppy chow. See, I would make that promise if it wasn't such a ridiculously common occurrence nowadays. What, what if I, I bribe you? How would that help me ward off wolves, though? Uh, it will encourage you to sit in the evening time, somewhere safe and eat cake instead of being eaten by wolves. I'll take it. <laughs> Deal. Thank you again. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again, uh, maybe on another drinking trip, don't you? That'll be lovely, yeah. Hopefully we can have uh, Mr. Atticus with us again. <laughs> oh, you hear his news? Um, him being signed on for the newspaper? Or at yeah, least he got to? his interview today. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I really hope he gets the job. He seems so excited about it. I think he's going to be real good at it. I think so, too. He has a real way with words. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. He was, uh, he was there for us yesterday when Peepaw passed, so... Hmm. I got nothing but kindness for him. Yeah, I tried to stop by and offer my condolences, but I could only get a hold of Wolfie. Everybody else seemed to crowd pretty much everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was running around like a headless chicken trying to make sure everybody was okay. Yeah, I saw, and I definitely didn't want to add to your plate at that moment. That's very kind. Well, you be safe, Mr. Pat Riley. Uh, here, uh, why not give me my telegram number, and then if you ever need anything, you can just telegram. Unless it's medical advice, then please telegram medic. <laughs> okay, dope. Uh, you got a notepad or a good memory? Uh, let me grab my notebook. Hold on. Alrighty. All right, so my you. telegram is RQ, like Wrench Queen, 528. RQ528, five, five, and that's a prim. K E Z I A H P R I M. All right. Gaziah Prim, RQ528. That's me. So please uh, say hello to Sifari. She gave me her telegram. Number, but I was very uh, inebriated and I'm afraid I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to pass it along. All right, thank you. You take care of yourself. You too. You have a great day. Do my best. Got church in a little while. Heck yeah, that should be good. Oh, actually, very soon, I'm thinking. <laughs> I should probably get going. All righty. All right, you look after yourself. I always try. <laughs> Pat, puppy, chow, Riley. No, <laughs> Trist, no. <laughs> you can't do that to me.
what the? You can't support that. You can't do that to me. <laughs> no. How can you just gang up on me like that? What have I ever done to you? Sounds official. Don't you dare. You stay out of this militia. You stay out of it. <laughs> How actually dare you? Why, I have done nothing but my very best to entertain you, to... to help you have a great weekend and stuff, and this is how you repay me? <laughs> Can I be more dramatic? Possibly. Nothing but love, man. <laughs> I'll just straight up yup. Wow. I'm white. <laughs> Off to work, bye. Okie dokie, have a good day at work. Feel free to lurk. Uh, actually, I'm gonna roll for something, because uh, this jacket has taken a beating. <laughs> Like, what is that? Um, two cougars have had a bite, three wolves, no, four, four wolves at this point. You're off to the hole you were digging all last night, you lurk. Okie dokie. Aw, oh, son of a fuck. I mean, <coughs> You know how... In D&D, a natural one is pretty heckin' bad. Yeah. Yeah. This jacket is shot to shit. I'm gonna need to buy a new jacket. Bye-bye, whoever that was. Thank you, sir. What I may do is change into my fancy clothes. Um... Right up to Valentine, see if I can catch 
Kaziah and um, Wolfie and just say hi. Like, I don't think I'll go to the sermon. I think that's a bit much. I don't... You know. I'm sure Pat would be good with that, but I'm not. <laughs> so sorry, Pat. Let's nod and say we did. Let's sell all of this fish first. Not too shabby, how about yourself? I'm doing alright. Good to hear. You went fishing or? Yeah, I went fishing a bit. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I ran into some wolves on the road back, so that was the whole thing. about yourself? What have you been up to? Not too much. I'm just looking for a friend. Anybody I might know? Or Atticus. I don't know if you've seen him. I actually haven't seen Atticus today. He said he would be here on Blackwater, but I've looked and I can't find him anywhere. Hmm. Maybe he... Maybe he's still in his room or something, preparing... Uh, or... Maybe. Considering he has an interview today, maybe he went to the tailor for a new suit? Possibly, I'll check. We'll see. We could split the effort. You can check the tailor and I can check the hotel. Yeah, that'll be fair. Okie dokie. These locals, they just mag magnetize your horse. I don't know, mesmerize it, something like that.
to see him. Didn't, unfortunately. Well, that he was supposed to make his way to Rhodes, but I thought that was still a little while away. Hmm. Check the telegrams one more time. Mr. Tulliver? <laughs> we were looking for you in the wrong place. Oh, fuck. I've just been sitting here a couple minutes. Just Don't fucking up. scare me like that. <laughs> what do you mean? I went to Sisica the other fucking day because of the stupid Ani. What did she do? What did you do? This seems like it might need to be an indoor conversation that can't be overheard. That is very true. Wow, was. Alright, um... Aika! place around here um I mean I'd offer up my room if you want but I'm not rightly sure how to get you in there yeah, I mean, use my room. yeah that's fine hello how you boys doing not too bad not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> that's very good to hear through there not too long ago yeah i speak to eli up in strawberry and he said the 10 ton gang was just rolling through so oh. we'll see what happens there but uh you religious man eh, ish not enough to go to a church though <laughs> i ain't religious in the slightest i was kind of hoping that i'd feel something you know kind of go in there and just kind of get it because i feel like Hmm. You know, when people talk about God and all that stuff, it sounds kind of loco to me. And ain't, ain't too much different from all that supernatural ghost stuff, but <laughs> either way, but I figured some people claim they've seen ghosts, so maybe uh, going there, I can get a bit of understanding. It's all hmm. empathy, or is it sympathy, or something? See? I don't know. Something. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But, I mean, it is nice. It ain't too preachy, because I don't like that preachy stuff. And yeah. it's a bit more community based. Like I think they have drinks and like a social after, but oh well. I don't know. I'm just trying to turn return a book because apparently I wasn't supposed to take it. Oh. And I think I'm yeah. Now you're cursed. I think yeah. God's <laughs> a spiteful bastard. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah I, I got your uh, I got your telegram. I did respond to it. Just saying, it sounds good. But alrighty. Wait. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do some fishing sometime because Emmett, you ain't been fishing, have you? Uh, no, but I still have the fishing pole. <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll have awesome. to uh, plan for some fishing in the week sometime. Yeah, sounds good. But, uh, yeah, we, we best get off to the van time. You sure you don't fancy coming to the church? Mm, no, churches feel like, I don't know. It's kind of like everybody's there, sort of judging you silently, and mm -hmm. yeah, not really my my scene. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Alright, right. we best get off. Yeah, Don't you be stay late. safe and yeah, you have see you around. Plan. Absolutely. And uh, I'm sure you'll see Miss Kazaya and Mister Wolfie up there. So uh, yeah, if you catch them, say hi. Yeah, okay, okay. I think that's Medic Prim, by the way, the Kazaya. Ah, yes. Medic Prim and uh, Mr. Burton, to be a bit more formal. Oh, yeah, Mr. I, Burton. Uh, I, Mr. Wolfie Burton is a medic in training currently. 
He's the gentleman uh, okay. who uh, recently lost his peepaw. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I think I've, I've met him once. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, we best get off. All right. You have a good day, Pat. You too. Be safe on the roads. There's a lot of uh, critters out today. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate the heads up. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You have a good See you around. Howdy. Alright, Mr. Riley, we're gonna need to use your room. My door handle, it's all stuck. Okay. C. 7C. Alright. Welcome on in. Oh, nice place. Thank you. Make yourselves comfortable. she's been using our names trying to blame us for things that we have not done send in law to chase after us and you know it was her that sent in the tip I'm not I'm just playing devil's advocate here I'm just trying to play devil's advocate why would a deputy who I've never met before lie to me oh. and state her name why would these people say a lady came up with them red mask red corset and claiming her name was Sif why would they lie to me I don't rightly think they would I didn't say they would but you left that part of the story out of the details so I was just digging for more trying to figure out how it happened so, me and a friend searched high and low for her. We found her in Valentine. Got her on the back of a horse. Took her to a shack that was like probably northeast of Valentine. Had a conversation with her. She claims that it wasn't her, that she didn't do such a thing. But it's hard to trust somebody that isn't very trustworthy, who says one thing but still does the other. And yet she says, and she claims, she didn't do it. She mentioned your name and said, 
that she wouldn't hurt you. She has wants nothing to do with you, but I think that her actions still have pro proven otherwise. Most definitely. And, yeah. and she calls you weak, and she called you a rat. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> a rat. That's funny. By my reckoning, she actively hunted Mr. Tulliver around Strawberry when myself and uh, Miss Julian were there with him. Just yesterday, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yesterday? That is funny. Oh, uh, hell. Yeah. You know, it was only a few days ago when we stabbed her six times, so. You, st you stabbed her six times. Stabbed her six times, took her to Valentine, and left her on the porch in front of the deputy's office. Oh, dang. Think I might just invest in a machete. We left her there. <clears throat> Apparently, my other friend uh, also shot her one time for good measure. But that's here, no there. I left it up to my friend because, to be honest, she was the one whose home was invaded by deputies because of her, so I let her have the pleasure of stabbing and doing whatever she wanted with her. <laughs> well, she's still breathing. I saw her not but unfortunate. 15 minutes ago. She oh, rode really? past me like she rode past like you guys rode past me. I was just sitting on that bench. Good thing you were, I reckon. Yeah, hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. Then I went up to Colter. Deputy came through. We robbed the deputy, and then about five minutes later, six more law came up, and we had a a shootout up there in Colter, and they shot down some of our horses, and we. Uh, Tried to sneak around and steal their horses, and as we were running towards the horses, uh, one of my friends tripped and tackled me. And by the time I got up, everyone else it was already on horses and running away. I couldn't catch up, so I tried to jump on a deputy's horse, and then they just killed their own horse. And then I was surrounded. Nowhere to go. So they got me. I got a accomplice to attempted second degree murder. One of the charges was hauled off to Sissica. Wow. I, uh... I'm sorry to hear that that happened. Mm. It's fine. Yesterday we... Uh, yesterday we, uh... Witnessed the death of a... a pretty, uh, well-beloved man. And, uh, in the, uh, in Strawberries where he died. He just old age is old. Are you talking about, uh... People. Yeah. I'm sorry to not have been there. Yeah. My ass was unfortunately in Sissica. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we... I was there with Wolfie Burton and, and Peepaw died and... And plenty of people from the Momo Market came up to say their respects. And uh, Mr. Riley here and, and a woman by the name of Julian. Uh, we all were speaking about what happened in the swamp. And uh, I started reading my book, the one I read to you in Coulter. And uh, I wasn't even a paragraph into the into the story when Ani showed up. And it was kind of eerily similar she just showed up looked at us we looked at her and she rode away uh, she can call me weak she can call me a 
a rat. I don't quite care. You'd have to be friends with someone to rat on them, I feel. So I think snitch is currently more uh, the label, but regardless, I'm just pulling people around me who are going to help me against the devil is really all I see it as. I saw her again a few hours later in Blackwater, and I saw her just 15 minutes ago in Blackwater, so... <sighs> she can continue coming for me at this rate, I'm... We'll have to if she keeps coming for you. We're gonna have to put a bullet in her. Man, if it comes to that, I'm prepared to make that decision, but... I've come to the conclusion that I'm no longer gonna let this... curse... Pin me to the ground anymore. I've got other things to do. I've got an interview this afternoon for the newspaper that I need to make it to, and um, uh, I've got work to do. That's really all there is to it. I can't keep hiding behind the fear of the devil in the swamp. I know it was real, and I know what I experienced, but I guess I'll just keep losing memories and chasing them with new ones i guess that's really the only thing i can do at this point what is your interview uh about two hours from now all right well be away from her until then i guess yeah i figure in about an hour or so i'll Right out to roads, and I got my interview notebook ready, and I went and bought some new clothes, look a little bit more professional. And uh, I don't really know what to do with myself for the time being, but I figured just lay low, spend some time with people I care about, and then go get a job. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Why did you why did you rob the deputy in Coulter? What could it be? Why did I rob him? I didn't rob him. One of my uh, friends robbed him. I see. I misunderstood what you were saying. Okay. No, I was there. Right, okay. Saw her with the deputy and I knew what she was thinking. I'm just gonna let her stay in there alone, so sure. Makes sense. I was just curious. I, I missed a detail or so. Yeah, they weren't gonna let us leave. We said, you can take this fella here, your deputy. We can ride out of here. No one has to get hurt. But they couldn't do that, so. I see. Wow. Again, I'm sorry you had to spend time in Sisica as a result. And I'm sorry you had to do with Ani. Uh, I, I, well, I feel that I introduced her ilk into your life, and I'm, I'm uh, apologetic for that. That's fine. told her regardless while she was bleeding there that I would probably I would see her again if she didn't bleed out so yeah I'm not surprised she said the devil was coming for me <laughs> <laughs> sure he is surely yeah. I believe if she had her way the devil would be coming for the whole crossing the fact of the matter is it's at this rate the devil's just one man and a, a harlot in red clothing, so she's got a lot of work cut out for her. Yeah, I don't even know if she knows what she's doing. I don't think so. Uh, just being a nuisance. <clears throat> Spying on people, causing trouble. Sounds like it. 
I think so far she's been fortunate to escape serious repercussion. She has mm. quite the words to say after we stabbed her, but... Well, fun. who pays attention to the ramblings of a stabbing victim anymore? <laughs> who pays attention to the ramblings of someone who has lost herself that far? Exactly. She well, can't decide if she's Ani or us. She can't even decide who she is, so. I suppose Ani when it's convenient, us when she wants to cause trouble. Yeah, makes me wonder too how <clears throat> invested the man in the swamp is in her, actually. He didn't seem like someone who frequented the area without invitation or request. I remember he scolded us for even showing up without sending him a letter. So if he wasn't prepared for us, I'd imagine... I, I just don't think he'd be all too keen on being present always for her incessant behavior is i guess what i'm trying to say i would agree. i will say i would agree i will say deputies questioned me for quite a while i did not give up your name at all i appreciate that did they this... even say my name no yeah i figured i still am not known enough her to matter, but she may start throwing me under the wagon here soon. Yeah, but that's what I was about to say. But that doesn't mean that she has not spoken your name to anybody. Yeah, well. I know I don't have any bit of a record. And whoever us is, uh, I think they'll start coming for me once they start seeing their name in the paper. <laughs> it's a dangerous game to play, but it's probably... my burden to bear. I admire it's the decision I've made. <laughs> I admire the decision for one thing. It's one hell of a bait. Yeah. Uh, I figure, you know. The old saying, the pen is mightier than the sword. If I can start getting the truth in front of people's faces and make them aware of the dangers of Lakay and the nuisance that is this red woman, the less grasp, she, grasp she's going to have on the people around her because people will be looking for her. She's not going to be as sneaky as she once was. And uh, it's just a matter of time. But I have to make it viable. And she has to keep making noise. Because if she stops making noise, my articles mean nothing. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't even have the job yet. This is just where my, my brain is playing and toying. And eventually, the devil in the swamp, he's going to have his name in lights. And... Uh, I don't think we can go to law with any of it because as you know, Sif, she she claims to have brought Hank Hammer and one other down there. So if he's manipulated me and he's manipulated Miss Imogen and Domino is now dead, that leaves just Ani, myself, Imogen, and now the, manip the manipulation spreads to law. So we can't trust what him with the Domino? We don't know. We heard he was shot. If he was shot, I don't think it would have been Ani because she doesn't tend to carry a gun from my understanding, but that doesn't mean she wouldn't. But it seems to be too perfect. So. I 
just don't see any other reason for him to be dead. Uh, Miss Imogen seems to think it's our curse, and we could attribute it to that. I'm less and less inclined to believe that I'm cursed and more that I'm just suffering melancholy as a result of losing something. I do believe that I've lost something and that it was taken from me, but Imogen is pretty well set that we're cursed and that Domino was part of that curse since he didn't make a deal with the devil. So investigation is still up in the air and I don't really have any place to go with it because no one knows my name and I imagine if I went to where he was staying, which was down in Thieves, uh, they wouldn't be too kind. Uh, they wouldn't take too kindly to me snooping around and asking questions about Mister Domino. Oh, does he ride with people in Thieves? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure who they were. <clears throat> uh, I believe so. We, we should probably, if you wanted to say something, pay respects. Then you could. I know that you said you. Do him for a brief point in time. And his people have seen me down there. They saw Miss Imogen down there when we brought him back to Thieves after the surgery of, you know, all the stitching and stuff from the panther that attacked him. So they would, if I were to say that, they'd probably treat me fine. It's just, I don't know how fresh, I, I mean, he died two days ago. You know, that that's a fresh wound to be poking around with. I mean, don't poke, but I mean, paying your respects is not poking, but... Yeah, I also heard it through the grapevine, not necessarily direct from anybody, so if I go snooping around saying, hey, I heard Mr. Domino was dead and he's not, or, you know, something else happened entirely, I just, it's not, not currently worth asking about, I don't think. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. But, yeah. I, uh, I imagine if I get this position, I've been meeting people pretty frequently and pretty quickly here in my time, and uh, people seem to be pretty open to talking to me, so if I can just start shedding some light on the situation. Yeah, it paints a target on my back, but, you know, if they're going to do anything to me, it's going to have to be in public, so... At least there's that. So, Ani's playing a short game. My game uh, is going to take a lot longer than that. Well, maybe it won't have to. Considering she's playing the short game, her wick might burn out before you ever have to do anything serious. Well, that's true. And I'm hopeful that she gets herself carried away and something happens to her that I have no involvement with whatsoever. The further I am away from it, the better. But if it continues and the people I care about, yourself included, Miss Sif, if she continues to cause trouble, then, well, if I start making some noise, it draws her away from everybody else and, you know, as it goes. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that we can hope for it to distance and fizzle out, but we have to be prepared. Of course. It yeah, um, I'm as ready as I can be, Seth. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I know that I'll be able to take a life, but I have presented with the opportunity and, and the need. I'm going to do whatever I can to protect myself and whoever's involved, so. And bring it on, I guess. Well. But for now, I have to keep my hands clean, at least for the next two hours. Well, let's get, uh, let's get some stools, uh, shake some telegrams. Oh, uh, have you seen Bridget in a while? Um, I wrote her earlier today and I saw her yesterday. Okay. Would you uh, do me a favor and ask her to uh, 
It might be time to do the ritual she spoke of. Not just for me, but maybe for Miss Imogen too. It doesn't have to be today, but I can ride up when we get to telegrams. And... Yeah, let's do that. That's a good question. Good afternoon. There we go, be careful. So how's your day been, Mr. Riley? Pretty dang calm, Mr. Tuller. Pretty dang calm. I'm glad to hear it. After a day like yesterday, he deserved a, a quiet, relaxing day. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope we can all keep it. True. Yeah. Well, you know how the crossing goes. It seems like the moment you think you're going to have a quiet day, it just doesn't end up quite that way. Yeah, oh I know what you mean. Calm, like you weren't mauled by wolves. Yup, that's calm. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Yeah, knock on wood and all that. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they say, anyway. I'm trying to make him feel calm, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to uh, freak him out. <clears throat> I guess Jillian's awake. I'm curious to see what she thought of the uh, story I gave her. My horse. But he's stealing my fucking horse. <clears throat> Somehow stumbled across nine chunks of gold. Can't find more in vintage story. You're digging and you think you're going in the wrong direction. But you got nine chunks. Alright, that's pretty good. Whoa. Getting practice in there, Mr. Teller. <laughs> Goodness me. Let's go find. 
on my horse. Go down. What was that? It means he forgot to turn his PvP off before approaching her. Yeah. It's a key. It's a wrong key thing. You know. Stable boys, if they encountered him. Yeah. Same in the stables. Is that a new vest, Mr. Riley? No, sir. It's oh. just uh, my jacket is now off for once. <laughs> I see. I like the color. I guess I never noticed it before. Well, thank you kindly. Hey, you look welcome. pretty snazzy yourself. <laughs> oh, thanks. I figured I, I ought to try, you know. Look oh, presentable. Absolutely. I'll have to make sure I keep my... You think it would matter an interview if I, you know, had my gun on my hip or not? No, I don't reckon well, so. Well. It's normal to have protection. I guess. Need your protection, just in case. That's true. I just figured, you know, it might be uh, make someone nervous if I was. They never met me before, you know, so suddenly I have a gun on me. Well, they can mm -hmm. always ask you to conceal it. That's true. That's true. I just I got a jacket. Could always set down your gun belt at any time. That you just too. take it off and put it over the chair. Yeah. Or on a table somewhere. That's not a bad idea either. Oh, we got. Well, it's about two hours and fifteen minutes. It looks like so. That's uh, a good chunk of time. Yeah, uh, do we go uh, fishing or something, or uh, go right around? What, what do we want to do today? You want to fish where you normally fish? I mean, we can all just stand there and just talk. Like, I'm probably not going to fish, but I'll talk. I'll Sounds good enough company. to me. Yeah, let's go fish, I guess. All right, well, give me a second to go grab my horse and such. Sounds good. Not me running off to... do anything in particular. <clears throat>
Just one more second, Hales. Thank you for holding on to this. She sent it a telegram. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't. I don't think I got enough sleep last night, Mister Riley. I think. <laughs> yeah, I know how that feels. If I don't fall asleep at the at the river, <laughs> I don't know that I can. Swim and sleep at the same time, although that would be ideal. Well, no, by my reckoning, you're not yet a fish, Mr. Tullivant. Not yet, but if I keep doing it, you know, you are what you eat. Yeah, not sure it quite works that way. LD. Well, then I should have become uh, a deer or an elk by now. die, or heaven forbid, uh, you come back as one. Well, if that is true, then I'll give hunters hell. Because <laughs> I aims to live. Wouldn't that be something, though, to come back, you know, as a wild animal like that, a deer or an elk, but knowing what you know, you, know, <laughs> you come back and you're not necessarily as new of a of a spirit as you might have thought you'd be, you have, uh, I'm sure you might have instincts, but you know more than the other deer, you know? Some you know, human knowledge left, yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That would be interesting. Sounds like a good idea for a story. You know, I think I'm chock full of them these days. That's good. It's very I good. I have to find the time to write them down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know that feeling? I think I surprised Miss Jillian by telling her that I rope, rope animals like that. I think so too, but she seemed to respect it quite well. She did seem insistent on calling you a romantic after all. Miss Jillian did. Jillian? Jillian, yeah. Jillian or Juliet? Uh, Jillian. Jillian. Uh, Jillian. Fuck. I cannot fucking speak names today, apparently. <laughs> You're perfectly fine. Apparently.
Yeah, horses don't like to be left unhitched, so you might want to find a spot. I know there's one across the river, uh, just a singular tree, though. I don't know if it'll take two horses. Hold down to that for me, will you? Doesn't look like they're awake yet. Well, not here anyway. Perhaps in the calmer side over there. Yeah. I'll go check. Unfortunately, nothing. All quiet. No fish anywhere. Should we try, uh, Ringneck and head out that way? You look tense, Mr. Tulliver. Is there Where something is I should know? Oh, no. I'm not feeling very tense. I was just... I noticed Miss Sif was kind of just staring off, so I was just looking at her. Making sure she's all right. Probably. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Do There's, we try uh, Ringneck Creek? It's over by Rhodes. It's under the first E in Lemoyne. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful spot. 
I like that spot. We can just let's stop at uh, let's stop up the way at Riggs. Let me send a telegram to my friend. Okay. So okay. I don't have them, you know, come all this way, wait here, and then they try and look for me. So I'd rather just let them know I'm going. So. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. I don't know. Maybe side eyeing means something different. But usually side eye is like a shifty thing to do. It means you're either on edge or something or worried. Well, she's become the sword, if that makes sense. And everybody else has just been kind of... I don't want to say coddling me, but... Keeping me innocent, I guess. Hmm. Or she's just... Gonna take up a war that... In my name, I guess. Yeah. Not so sure everybody else has been coddling you, but um, That's they're definitely want to use that word. Definitely trying to keep you out of too much trouble. Yeah, which I appreciate, you know. Obviously, I don't want to be in trouble. I just it's just kind of an observation I'm having. That's fair enough. <clears throat> Push comes to shove and somebody has to put a bullet in her. If I can do my part to save your soul from that kind of agony, then... Yeah, but it's also not your responsibility either, Mr. Riley. Maybe not. But I'm ancient, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got much left to live for but the whims of a young man and his dreams is that is that what i'm understanding it's important to keep the dreamers dreaming that's how things improve i can respect that i just don't want anybody to get hurt on my behalf you know miss ani can call me weak all she wants maybe hell maybe i am i did run like a coward when i saw her yesterday but again i'm i'm not afraid of her i'm afraid of what she represents Oh, I'm afraid of the man in the swamp. I don't know that I'd be quite ready to see him again anytime soon, and I know that that's where she wants me to be. Or at least she was she was wanting me to be there. I don't, the less she wants me now, the better. Yeah, I suppose so. You know. Well, I mainly um, just don't want you to lose yourself to this whole thing, Mister Tullivert. I, I appreciate that. I, I, I feel as though. Having friends like you and, and Sif here and now Jillian and just the people that I'm meeting, everybody seems to be keeping me away from losing myself. And uh, like I said, I'm just chasing old memories with new ones, I guess. Yeah. Which is, it is what it is. Alright, let's go.
Wait, I'm fine. And so off on the fishing trip they went. difficult to match speeds. You're fine.
I don't know that I've seen that many fish oh, in the in a body of water at one time. Must be a lucky day. Look at that. Let's hope they don't fight quite as hard today. And uh, hopefully no prehistoric ones today. <laughs> well, I don't recognize any of them. That's good. They're still fighters, Mr. Riley. Yes, sir. That they sure are. practice. I gotta do a quick relog. Because of the borked fishing. Yeah. 
instead of just getting up to leave heaven we make a time I'll meet you down the lane <laughs> a lot of hungry suckers in this water <laughs> Yeah, seem to be partial to your bait. Well, I'll stop messing with mine then. What is it you're using? Um, river bait, I guess. Worms, Mr. Riley. Yeah, but they, they're wriggly and slimy. I don't like it. <laughs> You're afraid of a couple of worms, Mr. Riley? Hey, I now, nobody said... You gotta go back to the old way. <laughs> no, no, hold on now. Nobody said nothing about being afraid. They're disgusted, if anything. Disgusted, all right. Unlearned disgusted. Who's, who's afraid of a little worm? Not me. <laughs> That's good to know. I'd be worried. Would you truly? Uh, I mean, it's just a worm. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about a worm either. Unless, of course, the person in question was so prehistoric they were nigh on falling apart. But then I'd worry about, well, pretty much anything. A darn feather could knock him over. Oh, that's true. What would you say your biggest fear is? My biggest fear? <laughs> to be forgotten. Oh, that's, that's a good one. What about you, Seth? Too sure. That's fine. That's all right. I think those things I used to be afraid of, but now seem laughable. No such thing as a laughable fear, Miss Sif. I'm just gonna try everything. I think my biggest fear would be uh, losing touch with my creativity. Yeah, I could see that. I think if I didn't have that, I, I don't know who I'd be. Hmm. 
But I think if I lost that, it would... It would break every promise I ever made, I think. Because every promise that I ever made was banked off of my creativity. That was the... That was the bank note. Hmm. Well, you'd be surprised how many times you can lose yourself and reinvent yourself, Mr. Tomovay. Yeah, but I don't know that I'd like who I would be without creativity. Now, I, th I think creativity is one of those things that doesn't really ever go away, but it might take on new forms and you might not like all of them. Well, that's a fair point. Yeah. I guess the only other fear I'd have would be getting eaten by wolves. But I've already <laughs> done that a couple of times. It's still terrifying. <laughs> I mean, that's a practical fear to have. <laughs> well, I'm damn near tried everything in my tackle box. If this doesn't work, I'm giving up. Telling you, Mr. Riley, worms. Don't you be telling me about them worms. Hey, I, you want me to put it on your hook for you? I'll do it. No, sir. See? <laughs> what happened? I wasn't looking. I used a damn worm. Shut up. My fishing rod's acting weird, so I'm just gonna not. Okay. And of course, hails ran off, son of a bitch.
was a good one. <laughs> Alright, here's another question. Alright, shoot. If you could be any animal in the animal kingdom, what would you be? Hmm. Shoot, a lot of critters to pick from. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I don't rightly know. Hmm. Well, I read this book once, you know, like I told you the other day about the other day about uh, the pika in Colorado. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I read another book. Uh, it's like animals in Australia, and there's this one uh, called a capybara or something. Capybara? What? Uh, uh, like a tiny like bear? That. No, it doesn't even look like a bear. It's, it's bizarre looking. It, it's kind of like the size of a, a small dog or a medium-sized dog, and it's got a long snout, kind of like a miniature horse, but maybe not that long. What? Uh, yeah, and uh, it's fuzzy, kind of like a bear, I guess. Hmm. Uh, and you're uh, telling me this creature is real? Yeah, well, according to the book I read, and I tend to believe most of the things I read in encyclopedias uh, books. Huh. It's uh, Capybara, Capybara, something like that. Yeah, let's go with Capybara so it doesn't sound too close to a bear. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But they apparently are very docile, very uh, relaxed creatures. Hmm. Uh, I, I think I... And they seem to get along with just about anything. They don't really have any natural predators other than maybe like an alligator or something. But I think it's crocodiles there. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I think maybe I'd relate to that of a capybara. Capybara. Alright, I could see that. Uh, it's interesting looking enough. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I'm too many different things to pin it down to a single animal. Well, that one we need to gut. Hmm. I think sometimes I'm like oh. a bear where I get very protective over my little cubs. Yeah, I could see that. And sometimes I'm like a dog, just a. A loyal, happy, old, lucky little guy. What about you, Miss Sif? What animal would you be? I think, let's see. Say I would be a raven. A raven. Oh, I yeah, like the story you were telling me. Yeah, I remember that. Wouldn't that be something? Take flight. You know, soar as high as you can, as as far as you can. You know, I hear ravens. Uh, they like to bring people presents. And, and if you leave them food, they'll come back, you know, someday later or whatever, and they'll bring you something shiny they found or a pebble that they liked or, you know, they're, they're always making, you know, 
like uh silent bargains you know or something like that hmm i read that too <laughs> Well, you do do a lot of reading. Roads or... Yeah, roads. It's close. Would you mind if I hop on the back of your horse since Hale's left me high and dry? Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to move a little slow. My pockets are, are pretty weighed down. Alrighty. Thank you. Of course. Uh, actually, how about this? Up off. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hey, you're all right. Think you could hold on to this for me? <laughs> yeah, I'll hold on to it. All right. You know, I think this, aside from the fact that I, the fishmongers in Blackwater, I think this is my favorite spot. <laughs> it is beautiful. The welcome of the dawn. It doesn't want to go that way. No. No, we're not doing that, I guess. Dang it, Pika. You could have worked with us. She's been ornery lately. I don't really know what it is. Yeah, same with Hales. I'm, I'm thinking I might just leave him in the stables for a bit, get another horse. I was looking at a couple of horses in the catalog. And, uh... I was looking at, uh, I think it's a fox trotter, I think it was. Beautiful horse. Hmm. Welcome up the door. Do you need to check telegrams? Nah. People okay. will usually call on me. But yeah, those fox trotters, they're said to be mighty quick and agile creatures and burly. Yeah, I thought that was interesting that they were categorized as such. That is interesting. They look like fairly lithe, so it's, it must just be strong for their size. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know either, but it's a choice word. Yeah, burly. You know, when I hear that word, I think about uh, um, Beaumont the Burly. That was the cartoon in the motion pictures that we were watching with uh, Peepaw the other day. Was... All right. He loved that one. You know, we <laughs> watched it twice. Whoa, now. I'm gonna get out away from that horse because uh might get a kick. Yeah, she's being all sorts of ornery. Hold on a second. Oh, you can you can hold on to it. I said I'd hold on to it. I'm not gonna sell it for you. Oh, alright. Besides, you're better at bartering than me, I'm sure. I don't know about that. I 
I just tend to hand him over and he gives me what he wants. <laughs> Hello there. You catch anything Hello. nice? Hmm. I personally didn't, but we got a few fish. You got a few fish? Yes, indeed. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Thank you kindly. I'm going to get myself some of that large meat, I think. Ah. Well, do enjoy. Oh, thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you. Hmm, you as well. Uh, Pat Riley, by the way. Montgomery Andrews. Pleasure Montgomery to meet you. Montgomery Andrews. Pleasure indeed. Well, I shan't take up any more of your time. Take care of yourself. Always try. Hmm. Make sure I'm where my meeting spot is. All right. Beg your pardon. I'm not following you. <laughs> no, I know. We just happen to be heading the same direction. It's all right. That's all right. Oh, form a line. Beautiful night out, isn't it? Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> not rainy and sticky for once. I, I like that. Oh, excuse me. Yes, not I like fine. it not sticky. <laughs> Did you get what you need? Yeah, so it's 7.30 at the parlor. He's in next to you here. Oh. He's in an hour. A little bit to go still. Yeah. Uh, hop on, Mr. Riley. We'll just head up to the parlor house. All right, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, is your friend going to meet you here, Sif? Not sure. Oh, okay. i uh, let them know that I'm here in Rhodes, so we'll see. Okay. Business waits for no one. That's gonna be us when we get our wagon and start delivering fish. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. Okay. 
I'm going to use the restroom. All right. All right. I think I might actually also grab me S2. Uh, they make it pretty good here. I like it. Have they do. Such a gross sound when it clinks in their teeth. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. So I have a couple of samples that I sent ahead of me and I've been thinking about more of them and I don't know if I should write them down if that would be too, uh, too forward or if I should stick with what I have and just have a normal conversation with this. But no, I've never had a job interview before, Mr. Riley. Hmm. Hi there, sir. Afternoon, you all right? Oh, yeah, doing quite fine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You work here? Uh, no, sir. Just, uh, uh just hanging out. So, just hanging out. It's a good place to just hang out. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Better than the shithole in Valentine. I hate Very Valentine. true. Everybody hates Valentine. Well, it, it is a mud. mud. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly, Mr. Riley. If only it was just mud, eh? Ah, oh, yeah, if only. That'd make that town a dream, to be honest. Yeah, don't get Miss Sif here started on Valentine. <laughs> I fucking hate Valentine. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's a unanimous vote, then. <laughs> I'll tell you where I like. I'll tell you, tell, tell you where I like. I like to frequent. Where's Black that? Water. Ah, uh, yeah. Blackwater is where I call home. Indeed. Hell of a town. Yeah, great people. Yeah, at least you can breathe, not like fucking sand and <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of hustle and bustle in sand and What uh, shite. Yeah, that's a fair point, too. It's a little too close to the swamp for my liking. Yeah, I second that. The snakes and the crocodiles, you know, the more dangerous snakes are the ones in the fucking city. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling that's a euphemism for something other than a slithery creature that. It you know, is. It's an yeah. euphemism for the for bastards, backstabbing bastards. I'm backstabbing bastards. Sorry, that's I don't mean to mimic you. Mimic away is a, a, a serious form of flattery. <laughs> you know, imitation of being the same. What, what is the saying? It's imitation is the greatest form of flattery that mediocrity serves to greatness. Yep. Yep. I, I feel like people forget the latter half of that statement. Yeah. I like your version better. I don't know that it's my version, but it I might have. Oh, well, I'll take it. All right, well, I'm going to grab myself a whiskey, get absolutely fucking blottoed, and head to bed. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan, sir. <laughs> sounds like a good plan. Yeah, Sif, so you look like you could use a drink. Can I get you one? Chin chin. All right, take care, sir. I'll get one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a drink. Why not? What do you want? Uh, something in a glass, whether it's whiskey in a glass. Or... Something in a glass. You got it. Here 
you go. Appreciate it. Of course. You know, I'd hate to have you guys wait on me. <laughs> you know, if you, if you have things you want to be doing. I uh... don't really have too much. I, I just did my most of some work today, to be honest. Okay. Well, and you know I don't plan, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just, I feel bad because I mean, I could go back to the fishing hole or we could go do something else, go for a ride or whatever. I'm just, <laughs> I'm an hour early to my appointment. <laughs> yeah, that'd uh, be early than late, right? Yeah, but is there too early? Is it fashionable to be an hour early? I, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know. I had people telegram me that they wanted to talk, but I have not heard anything back. I don't, I don't know. I guess they must have not wanted to talk that badly then. Well, people get caught up in things, so you know, yeah. maybe, uh, especially if you're traveling for a while, sometimes you don't stop by a place to check uh, any telegrams or anything. So I'm just going to wait. Just kept them updated where I was just in case. So, Sure. Fair enough. Apparently more deputies were up in Coulter. I don't know what's going on with all these deputies going up to Coulter as of late. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something about the snow attracts them or something. I don't know. Uh, uh. It is one of those places where people go where they don't want to be found. Uh, maybe the law is looking for someone in particular. Aren't they always? I don't know. Maybe. If there was some notorious individual who keeps escaping them or is constantly causing trouble, then I'd imagine so. You do make a fair point there. Well, it might just be one of those places where so many people have gone to hide that it's just become a civilization now and well, no one's hiding anymore because there's too many people. <laughs> now that would be something. Could be. I do love it up there. It's so beautiful. It is really nice. Yeah, I need better padding in my clothing if I'm going to be all the way up there. Yeah, I can't seem to find a jacket that keeps me warm enough. Yeah. Run into the same problem. I must just have a, a champagne taste on a, on a bad beard budget. Those were words. <laughs> they didn't come out very good. <laughs> I kind of got stuck in there and I had to, had to push them out. I'm just pulling your, pulling your leg as they say. Man, I really, I'm excited about this library thing too, you know, like, 
that we have all the library cards serialized now and or you know they will be and uh, I just really hope that I can get a wagon soon so I can start helping Miss Imogen carry some books around you know yeah I get you especially, especially considering we're both ships in the night I rarely get to see her so you know if I have my own inventory of books I can at least be effective You know, and if I get the job here at the newspaper and work the library, I'm likely to run into all sorts of people with all sorts of different stories. I figure I'll it's like so. multi-purpose, you know? It gives me a reason to leave Blackwater, at least. <laughs> that it most certainly will. That's true. One of these days I need to go out west. I haven't been out... Well, I've been... As far as Armadillo, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I went and delivered wood there one time with my, my friend Lou, who I haven't seen for, gosh, nearly a month. It's quite a while. Yeah, I hope he's all right. I'm sure he is. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm looking for Miss Fiona. Anyone seen her? Unfortunately, I, I have not. Uh, no. Okay. I'll keep looking. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, no worries. worries. <laughs> oh, Fiona, that's a pretty name. She runs the, uh, runs here, the bar and everything here. I see. All right. Have you seen Wolfie today? I haven't. I've been up to Strawberry though. Um, but no, I've only seen Miss Kazaya today. How is she doing? Well, she's still going through it, obviously. But uh, yeah. Well, she's she's still very much on the job. So. All right. About as good as one could suspect, I guess. Yeah. I think she's uh, pulled through better than most would, so... Yeah. She's strong. Yeah, they're really nice people. Yeah. With some luck, it gets a little better each day. I still can't believe how good Deputy Cooper can play the guitar. That was impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, that was mind-boggling. I guess you never realize where you'll find talent, you know? Sometimes in the most unsuspecting people. Yeah, I suppose so. The crossing should hold a talent show. That'd be <laughs> that'd be something. Too many talented people, I reckon. <laughs> Might take yeah, uh, an entire week to get through everybody. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> It'd be a week <laughs> worth of laughter and smiles and hell, maybe even tears. I'm sure someone has the capability to bring us to that. I don't doubt it for one second. Yeah. Do you check my telegrams for week? All right. All right. Do be careful. Would you like us to come with you? If you want. Yeah, I can stretch my legs. Yeah. You know, it'd also be kind of interesting if we did like a, uh, some sort of like book reading or something where people come and bring their stories and read them to people yeah maybe I 
I know Miss Imogen was talking about reading what we have in the library, but it might be kind of fun to just see what people come up with. Even if they're not great at writing, it'd just be like, hey, bring your writing. Yeah, could so, be good. <laughs> I'd imagine there'd be one fella in the bunch who'd I don't know, have something pretty analytical, like uh, something you read in a college textbook, and then you might have someone who writes a fantasy novel or a poem. I love poetry. I haven't had I haven't heard a good poem in a long time. Hmm. Nah, I can't say I have too good an ear for poetry. I only really have a an ear for the for an A B rhyme scheme, you know? Uh but I've heard some poetry back home where you know people aren't even rhyming. You know, and not because I guess you really don't have to, but yeah, you really don't. It's all about you know the cadence in which you speak, you know, and gosh, some of the stories they're telling that way is just—it's really clever. Yeah. What's in here? No, well, I wouldn't know. That's some bread. Looks longingly at jacket.
Well, I sent a Constance a missive that I was here much earlier than I had anticipated I would be today. And if it's convenient for them that I'll be here early. Alright. We'll see. Well, we can just go back to the part of the house, it's fine. Just head back that way. Alright. keeping an eye out for this this woman You know, it's really bizarre meeting someone, you know, you've only ever talked to them over Telegram. What's that? You know, you, well, you could be standing right next to the person and never know it because, like, you've never seen their face before. Uh, and I find that to be a kind of a curious notion. It is kind of curious now that you mention it. Yeah. I suppose I never really put too much thought into that aspect of things. Yeah, like, what if you were both at the telegram station? You know, you hand the guy your, your missive, and then if you were to just look away for a brief moment, you would never notice that he handed it to the person it was intended to be there for. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just serendipitous that you just missed it, you know? Little mysteries. Yeah.
Mr. Riley, did you ever meet up with uh, uh, Miss McFarland? Have you seen her lately? No, I haven't seen her in a long time. Oh. I remember, you know, oh, man, that was quite a while ago, but you had talked about you were helping them out and that you were waiting on her. Yeah, well, I've continued to help out uh, around the ranch, but, um, yeah, I just haven't run into Miss McFarlane. Hmm. That's all right. I'm sure she yeah. has her reasons. Yeah, I'd imagine owning a, a farm that big, you know? Mm. You have people who work it, but you also have the, the behind the scenes, you know, the mo there's money that needs to be made and and deals that need to be brokered on the things you're making. And I'd imagine she's busy. I'd imagine so. Ships in the night, wasn't it? Yeah, ships in the night. <laughs> I like that. I think whenever I run into her next, I'll tell her, uh, her sheep sure do like to get out of the pen a lot. <laughs> yeah. And you better, you, you might want to tell her about the, the cougar that lives out behind her house. Oh, she knows. She, and she just, she's okay with it, or? Well, it seems to be like a particular line of cougars where one constantly comes and checks out the crops. Uh, and whenever they show up and somebody needs to work the crops, she takes care of it. I see. wonder if that's one of those things where it's like, uh... You know, they're born with it. It's like instinct. Yeah, maybe. Strange thing to be doing, that's for sure, but... Well, nature's nature, and I can't claim to understand any of it. Yeah. I figure that's a question for... Uh, someone a bit more omnipresent than me. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe just somebody who's, I don't know, more tied to nature or just understands it better. Well, we got herbalists yeah, like and that. such, so there must be, I don't know, what would you call that? Uh, animalists? Uh... I think it's biologist, actually. Biologist? Or or zoologist, uh, maybe? Yeah, well, whichever one of those ologists does that sounds like a job for them. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. Let them handle it. It's above my pay grade. Yeah, let them figure it out, and I'll read the book later. <laughs> We can't play Pat too well educated. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, why did I come here so early? Because <laughs> you were nervous. Yeah, and now it's just like I got nothing but time to sit and think about this. <laughs> Wasting your time and Miss Sif's time, or just sitting here, not doing anything. Mr. Tilliver, 
time spent with people in good company is never wasted. Well, I'm glad you think so, but I, I, can, I, can, but I can agree. That's, yeah, that's true. Nothing but time. but time. You both are just far too agreeable for me today. <laughs> what do you want me to fight you, Mr. Tobo? Maybe. Maybe <laughs> I do. <laughs> Be far too agreeable. What? <laughs> I could be ornery, but well, that just tire me out further. I've heard that name. Uh, ornery? Yeah. The name like yesterday, but I don't know if I've ever met them. What do they look like? Like Mr. Riley. Sometimes <laughs> they look like Pika, my horse. They look like your horse. Honry, <laughs> Honry is just an adjective, Mister. It's just something you call somebody when they're being bullheaded and stubborn. That's definitely not because I said a name and then they said that that specific word right there as someone's name. So somebody has to have that name. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Maybe. maybe it's French, Henri. Oh yeah, maybe. But typically, I suppose if I needed to pronounce it in a, a different way, I would say ornery. Ornery, yeah. I don't like that pronunciation. It makes my mouth hurt. Yeah, mouth it hurt. presses air through my nostrils in a way I don't like. Yeah, I'd rather say ornery. Ornery, yeah. Ornery. Warnery. <laughs> Who does that? I don't know. It's like something you'd hear out of someone from, I don't know, Minnesota or something. Do you think ornery. Minnesota? Do you think Minnesotans would actually do that to us? I don't know. Ornery. You know, I heard, I heard they pronounce their O's and their A's is weird too. It's like boat and uh, toboggan. Toboggan? What? And toboggan. <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, sure, you betcha. Oh, goodness. There's long, long O's, long U's. Use guys. Use guys? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I don't really understand how being that far north makes your mouth do funny, funny things. I mean, I heard a fella talk once, and he said, What's the matter? Ain't you never seen somebody buy a newspaper before? No, he was from Boston. Oh, is that where he was from? All right, yeah, I New I York couldn't I couldn't bring myself to ask. I was just laughing away. Hey, hey I'm walking here. Yeah, that's what he sounded like too. Yeah, yeah that's a uh, that's from my neck of the woods. I I just luckily didn't pick up any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I don't run into anybody that sounds that way and ha have them hear me say that. <laughs> that that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, they might get a little aggressive. Well, if you get aggressive over something that small, got a different yeah, problem never, entirely. You ain't never been out east, Mr. Riley. I really haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, get, they get aggressive just if you look in the direction funny. Hell, you might just try to sneeze and they think that you're making faces. You fart into the toilet, they might think it's a personal attack. Yeah, careful how, <laughs> careful how the percussion of that sounds. <laughs> they might come in loaded. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that, you son of a... <laughs> uh... Yeah, they're, they're quick to, quick to act people, you know. To them, time is money. They're always moving. Time is money, friend. I'm so tired of this rain. This rains. I mean, it's been good out for a good while. This is the first rain we've seen in a bit. It was raining when we were heading in to fish. Nah. That's through the trees. You can barely tell that. That's fair. It also rained on me when I was sitting on that park bench. 
Oh, well, no, that was pretty all, light. All right, you got me there. Yeah, see, see. I have a memory of an elephant, and yours is old. You have the memory like a steel trap. Mine is more like a, a withered guitar string. Or a wet paper bag. Well, fuck you very much. Gotta stop doing that to yourself. Sitting here is like watching paint dry or grass grow. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Holy shit, I didn't realize I was that boring. I know. <laughs> don't put words in my mouth, Mr. Riley. Pulling your leg. I'm trying to get you to relax a little. Dang. Uh, Laughter's a good way to do that, so I hear tell. Yeah, that's true. Something going on. I can't imagine being in Sessica was easy on her. No, I don't imagine it was. You know, in the week and a half since the since the swamp, there have been. Two people, yourself and her, who have really made it a priority to keep me out of trouble, keep me safe. I don't know why, why I'm uh, so intrinsically connected to you both, and especially her. I mean, her, our walks of life have been very different, but uh, she. She watches over me like a hawk. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It's good. Yeah. I don't know what I did to deserve that, but I'll take it. So I was thinking, if we end up getting a wagon and shipping a bunch of fish, we should find local restaurants in the area who serve that kind of stuff and see about see about uh, making relationships with those people. Yeah. Oh, we, could, we could talk to Wolfie. He owns that restaurant. He runs every you know Friday. I think it was Tuesday and Friday, something like that. Oh yeah, he did mention uh, up in Saint Denis, right? Yeah, it's like a, you know, real gourmet joint. Fancy. Well, seems like a place like that might be well served with fresh fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just have to be particular, I think, about what we catch if we were to do that, though. You know, if we're just picking up uh, bluegill and, you know, rock bass and... Oh, no, nah, well, it have to be the good stuff. Yeah, like salmon and trout. Have you ever caught one of those big old catfish? No, I've never caught a catfish. I did catch a muskie, I told you. Oh, yeah, you I see. Don't, so I, don't know how, I don't know how good eats muskies are, though. I don't know. It's a weird name for a fish, muskie. It is, ain't makes it? Me think, yeah, it makes me think of the smell, you know? If you got a musk to you, you know? Oh! You got, right? So why would I want to eat something that has a scent <laughs> like that? I don't want to... <laughs> nope, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> well, welcome to my world. It just stumbles through my mind unannounced. 
<laughs> just occurs to you naturally yeah yeah <laughs> that's how thoughts are like in my brain you know they just they don't knock they just step on through the door they jump through the window like hey here i am take a look <laughs> i have a little ponder on, yeah i don't ponder on things for a long period of time they're just like hey yo guy here i am here catch <laughs> exactly <laughs> You ever heard the statement, hold my beer? That's my brain all the time. <laughs> hold my beer and also better think fast. Yeah, exactly. Duck. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we would get a wagon, get some crates, find spots where the or the trout maybe we could organize them by by a type you know I mean, this box is trout this box is the other stuff you know or you know maybe at any given point you know we they, we send them a telegram hey this is what we're fishing for be interested in putting that on your menu and then we just go out in search of that specific thing like salmon you know well um, give us an opportunity to Go about the crossing too so we're not just fishing the same spot you know let let the fish come back and you know repopulate wouldn't it be smarter to go and find all of these various fishing spots before we start a business with it uh i mean that's putting the horse before the cart i was looking at putting the cart before the horse <laughs> Well, little steps, so they say. So that's what I'll, you know, while you're busy trying to wrangle, um, I don't know, 15 plates, that's one thing I can do is look for fishing spots with some either interesting or large or good or all of the above fish. That's a good plan. You get the plate that's, the you get the starter and I'll spin the rest of them until they fall and hit the floor <laughs> <laughs> at least you're at least the plate you're spinning will get us started <laughs> uh, I'll just keep thinking that's what I'm good at you're funny and still nothing from your friends Miss Seth I got someone, something from somebody else about somebody, another person who wants to talk to me. And I said, oh, I'm at the Rhodes Parlor House. So if that other person wants to talk, all these people want to talk to me, but no one's coming to talk to me. So I have no idea what's going on. To be <laughs> that's bizarre. Yeah, that sounds By the rather way, confusing. This person that doesn't have your telegram wants to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, well, here I am. Then come talk to me. Yeah, or, you know. Better yet, give them my telegram so they can reach out to me personally. I mean, if you're already in a place and you know you're going to be there for a while, they might as well just show up there. All at once. Take a number and get in line and we'll, you know, it'll be like a kissing booth, but instead you'll just be talking. <laughs> talking line up. Booth. Yeah, you can take a spot up, up in the balcony area and uh, we'll close the door <laughs> and they can walk on through it have their words, and then jump off and go fuck themselves. <laughs> that took a turn. Yeah, like I said, a catch. <laughs> well, that about hits you upside the head, it sounds like. Yeah, that one was rough. At least it's like, at least it's an agreeable place we're in, you know? Yeah, you know, it's not Valentine. <laughs> you have to bring <laughs> that up, don't you? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Oh, I don't know. You know? Yeah. 
here I am just trying to appreciate our surroundings, and there you are shitting all over Valentine. Well, hey, I'm telling it, you now, Valentine I'm, has enough shit in it for the I'm, three I'm of us. I'm just adding to it, you know. I mean, beat it, join it, I guess. You don't polish a turd, it's still a turd. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, if this job makes me move to Saint Denis, though, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. That's a busy place. Yeah. I don't know how you'd get on with that too much. Look a little closer. It's been quite some time. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm out it's a very busy place. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can figure something out. Yeah. I wonder if uh, lodging there is expensive. It'd have to be, right? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. If we'll have to go uh, go to the lavender fields again sometime, I'd love to look at that again. Yeah, we can. Have you seen that, Mr. Riley? Over by uh, Pronghorn? Hmm. I don't know, actually. I've been up uh, that yeah. way, but. Uh, most of my time spent there was spent running away from bear after bear after bear, so. Yeah, we we ended up finding a grizzly there the other day and putting it down. It was too close to a settlement nearby, but the fields over there are just purple and just beautiful. Yeah, sounds like something I might have enjoyed had I not been chased like that. <laughs> Uh, we should go, uh, all of us. It'd be nice. Just go exploring a little bit. Yeah, sounds like something worthwhile. Coming up on that hour, so lit. <clears throat> yeah, about 30 minutes more. I'm gonna go check telegrams and just see if they got my missive or not. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hello, ma'am. You're not going alone, you nuts. Oh, yeah, you act like I'm the president or something. No. You just have a psycho stalker. <laughs> True. Well, you heard Miss Sif. She's not interested in me anymore. She doesn't like rats. Yeah, I consider that's... myself more of a hamster. I'm too cute to be a rat, I think. <laughs> You still reckon you're a rodent then? Uh, maybe a little bit. I kind of like cheese. <laughs> well, if that's the only criteria, squeak. <laughs> yeah, and if you grind peanuts into a paste, add a little bit of milk and butter. Oh. Prison transport. I see. Oh. 
probably tell who was on the back. Hmm. I think I've seen that happen a few days back, but I thought they were being kidnapped. Because <laughs> they only had, like, one law person uh, next to the cart, so it just looked like two people were working together to kidnap some folk. Oops. Sure, Law got a chuckle out of that telegram. Oh, did you send a note? Yeah. And someone was getting kidnapped and it was a prison. Well, if that's what I suspect, what do you expect I'm going to do? Just leave oh. it alone? Come on now. I mean, that's fair, but they, they knew what was going on. Well, they did. I I'm didn't. Sorry, you gotta, you gotta find the humor in it. I mean, it is it's, funny. It's I'll comical. give you that. But goddamn, I had no clue. It's, it's pretty comical. All right. Laugh it up, chuckle butt. All right. That's <laughs> do you think? Uh, ships in the night. Mm, maybe. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that might be the person I'm supposed to be meeting with. She sounded very proper. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but <laughs> she's got a nice dress on too. I mean, if it is, then you should make your way to the parlor house just in case. Yeah, but if I show up, you know, if she gets there first and then I show up and I'm not late, I'm fashionably early. I haven't been sitting here for an hour. My goodness, Mr. Tolliver, you have quite the scenarios running through your head. Always, Mr. Riley, always. I suppose in a manner of speaking, as do I. However... I only ever grab one to act on, and whichever one else pops up in my head, it's just going to have to deal with the fact that it did not get picked. Yeah. I'd imagine if I was in, like, the military or, you know, uh, I don't know, like a criminal organization or something, I'd be the plan guy. You'd be the strategist. Well, I'd be thinking about all the exits and all the windows and which routes to take and and it take 20 years for anything to no i'm kidding yeah because i'm spinning 15 plates you are a very busy man and you keep making yourself busier which is what boggles I, my mind 
I truly don't know how I got to this point in my life, Mr. Riley. <sighs> but the moment I got off that ferry in Annisburg, it's just been a whirlwind of things to do all the time. Yeah. I know how you feel. Yeah. Although I suppose for me, I've not really picked up a permanent plate to be spinning yet. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that I'll ever have a permanent plate to be spinning. It's just going to... Oh, I don't know about yeah, that. Da, 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 you're, you're working da, on da, it. Da, 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 da. Was there any mention on how you would recognize the person? Uh, nope. No. All right. But I have a feeling I'm just gonna ask. Well, if you weren't going to, then I surely would have. two ships passing in the night. Uh, I'm my friend Mr. Riley and uh, Miss Sif. Uh, they've just been spending the day with me while I uh, while I wait in anticipation oh, well. to meet you. It's very good to meet you. I can assure you I don't buy it. No, they don't need bodyguards. Not. Oh, it's not like that at all. <laughs> no. Uh, they're, just, they're just close friends making sure I get to where I'm going. That's all. Yes, we all need friends in the crossing. Yeah. Well, would you uh, like to have your interview a little early? I, I did read your telegram. Yeah, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I guess I'll have a seat if you would like to have yours. Well, why don't we go up on the balcony? Enjoy some night air. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Best of luck, Mr. Telegram. Thank Thanks, Mr. Good luck. I mean, he's pretty much got this in the bag. We both know it. Yeah, he'll be fine. Still funny to see him nervous, though. <laughs> that is very true. Don't understand. understand all these people want to talk to me but i met with a single one of them <laughs> yeah that is curious i wonder don't know <laughs> i especially think the one that wanted to talk to you uh urgently that that was a very very good one to add to that pile because uh I mean, we've been here for a good while, and not a not a sniff of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Not sure. Then before a posse rides into roads to rob the bank, and they all happen to be your friends. <laughs> That would be interesting. I, I jest, obviously. Just, just, just wait and see. Yeah, I suppose that's all we really can do. We can't really control other people. That we cannot.
Is there anybody that might show up that would ruffle your feathers to see? Not really. In person, I just uh, they said that they need to talk to me and I just didn't know what about. So I asked what about and then I was like, if they want to talk to me, I'm not going to be up uh, that way up to Coltar for quite a while. So, but yeah, the part of the house. So if they want to come speak to me, they can speak to me here. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. That light coming through the window, gorgeous. It just has me a little bit on edge because then I feel like I have to go check my telegrams all the time. It's like checking them, but I don't have anything. Yeah, I get that. You try your best to keep people in the loop who apparently want to talk to you and then they don't send anything back, but you feel like they will any second. So, yeah, I get that compulsion. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. very first few days I would check my telegram religiously but uh I mean I knew I wouldn't have any because I didn't know that many people and well people just didn't have my telegram to begin with but I still did it because that's what I was used to from back home yeah now I check it pretty often because I do have people that write to me but this is like the first time where I've had people so they want to talk and then I'm trying to keep them updated where my whereabouts are but then I haven't heard anything for a while so mm, yeah well I feel like you've definitely done all you can and well the ball's in their court that's true There's got to be something that'll keep the, the thoughts of those telegrams out of your head for longer than a minute. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, it's like a thing with me where I hate when people say, like, we need to talk. And then, you know, I just, it's just one of those things that kind of bothers me. And I'm just like, well, okay, then let's just get it over with. And what is it? Yeah, I get it. Somebody says they want to talk, well, then they better start talking. Yeah. It's just like, I don't... Usually when people say it, it's never good news, so... It's like, okay, well, then out with it, then. Yeah, it's rarely good news, but sometimes it's very good news, and people are just really excited to share it. Yeah, that could be true. But either way, they, they've done you a wrong in saying that, because now you're sitting with it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to sit here and think about it. Yep. And you can't nod until that conversation is had. I know the feeling. Yeah. But maybe it'll help if, uh, if 
if I at least stop referencing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I might have to go check my telegrams. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, standing here and looking around the saloon, I think if my first day in the crossing hadn't been me getting robbed in this place, I might have called this place home. <laughs> Not too bad. It's a nice saloon. It's a nice part of the house. <laughs> yeah. You know who robbed you? I have no clue. Uh, they were a small group of people. They all wore masks and black. It's like the fashion for people who want to do crime, apparently. <laughs> and, I mean, it was my first day. I didn't really have much to take off me to begin with, so... True. Cool. Can't say I'm too mad about it. I mean, it led me to Blackwater and everybody there, so... So everything happens for a reason, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just maybe. Maybe it's all a kooky coincidence that just happens to be in our favor sometimes. Yeah, maybe. Well, whichever of the two it is, be it fate or random chance, so... Uh... I'm glad things went the way they went. It's good. Oh, it's good to have a place that you can call home. Yeah. And it's good to have people that you know are trustworthy and that you can at least spend some good quality time with. It is also true. Having people to spend time with is, is nice, yes. I find it sort of, it gives the same feeling as family, if you know what, what I mean. It's yeah, that, makes sense. It's that sense of belonging to, like, a community or something. And, uh, yeah, just knowing that you found your, your flock, so to speak, your, your birds of a feather. Yeah, it's true. And then apparently sometimes you 
meet a random person whose plight strikes you to the point where you feel like you would try to become a shield for them. Or a blade. I don't know. Depends on what kind of person you are, I guess. Yeah. That is true. But I think both are equally valuable. Because it pretty much comes from the same place, I reckon. Yeah, I guess so. This is just how... They're a plot, I guess. Yeah. Well, I better stop musing before somebody walks in and accuses me of being romantic. <laughs> Not one for romance, so I don't really know what romantic is. Well, romantic in the sense that you tend to... Or that a person would tend to... Um, try to see the beauty in things and situations, you know? Mm. Not romantic, as in lovey-dovey stuff. I see, I see. Get real close. And hear the enemy. <laughs> I Oh, I think the telegram. I think the telegram boy is waving me down. All right. See what this is about. We'll come back and then we'll try to spy on him. She can take care of herself. It's him I'm worried about. That was Sif, right? Is that Sif? Yep, sure was. If you run quick enough, you'll catch her. Which way? Which direction? Over there. Her oh, alright. Just don't ask me about it when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm very grateful that this isn't turning into chaos. That would have for sure messed with my sleep. <clears throat> and as you've all witnessed, I'm terrible at small talk. I have no idea how to do it. I'm just not wired for it. That sounded alarming. I guess I just don't like the sound of fast moving horses. Take what? Oh, you. Pat doesn't smoke. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Hello. 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 Uh, I'm a, I'm a ranger. I'm making her go in mining with me. Do you want to go mining? You can come too. You can make like uh, $800 in like two hours and it's fun. Cause like we all talk together and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm Pat Riley. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. It's just, it's one of the things that I look forward to, try to get as many of my friends involved as I can, because it's always better when you got, when you're with friends, you know? Well, I can't, I can't fault that logic at all. Yeah. Ready to go? Atticus is coming with us, sorry. Atticus is coming oh, with us. Do you want to come on in as you well? Come. You should come. They'll provide everything. They'll provide boxes and crates and stuff, and then they pay you at the end. Hmm. And it's just two hours. Two hours? It's it's two hours it, live is, it is, it is, it is quite by. fun. It is yeah, quite fun. I, I won't lie. Well, I have to take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, we, we get to, you get to, you know, we Maybe all talk to each other. Just, yeah. You know, get some theoreticals. I think, you know, it's very good. It's very fun. I believe you. I don't have a pickaxe or anything, though. It's okay. They'll give them to you. They always do. Uh, I think we're going up to Mount Shan today. Where is that? It's like at the top of a mountain. Oh, okay. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. So are we waiting on Atticus? Yeah, he's just finishing up uh, his interview and he's, he got right. the he got it. So, I mean, no surprise there. We knew he would. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's wonderful. I heard about Atticus. Juliet told me about Atticus. Um, he was like a writer and he's trying to get hired at the newspaper or something. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you will choose not to, and that's your choice. Uh, I'll happen to you in just a moment. We're just going to the telegram office to finish okay. up some paperwork. Well, oh, perfect. Right. I just need be to go a moment. Yeah, that's where we need to go anyway. Oh, well, very good. Perfect, because I need to check my telegram. I knew we'd get it. Congratulations, Atticus. <laughs> They really wanted me to come mining. Yeah, they did, but that would have me up until 3 or 4 in the morning again. I can't do that. I will I will literally die. <laughs> yep. Paper and all matters. Oh, my heart. Do you promise to look after yourself so that I don't have to come down and witness any bodies? The wagon's just across the road. I'll be <laughs> over there, okay? Yeah, I, I find that looking after myself is, is a, a high priority, so yes, ma'am. And do you promise to seek the news and all things? Absolutely. There's always I a story to tell. I declare you a news reporter. Now, uh, you might want to take a little stretch, close your eyes for a minute or two. And I'll okay. get the, the So whenever he logs back in and um, gets his role as newspaper person assigned, uh, that's probably when they will go on their mining trip and I will just say, oh, thank you, but adieu. Because <laughs> I'm... I'm running on fumes, her. <laughs> And besides, we've already streamed for, well, it will be six hours pretty soon, so, you know, I think that's a pretty good stream. <laughs> that's not over yet, though, so don't run away from me. Don't you do it. And if Josiah happens to be streaming, I think we'll raid in. Uh, 
but we'll see. I don't think he always streams. Waiting on Mr. Tulliver. Alright. Oh, where'd they go? Um. Hello. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sif? So, well, Sif just sort of ran around to the front of the telegram oh. office. Oh, there she is. She's in the thing. There she is. Have a good one. I guess they're in a hurry. Sir, appreciate you. <laughs> He's doing it now. I hope so. What was that you said earlier about being agreeable, Mr. Tulliver? Hey, shush. <laughs> you, observer man. Yes, of course. All right. All right, come running back. Uh, see, see, see if that helps. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. for being obnoxious. I've been in the crossing far too long. No, I wouldn't call you obnoxious, miss. You must be a smart man. <laughs> well, some might say I am. Others might disagree. It depends on the day and time, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I see. What does you do? Well, I just help out wherever I can. Tends to be on ranches, but um, whenever they don't need my help, I just go fishing. <laughs> Odd job, man. Pretty much, yes. What do you find to be the most profitable thing in the crossing? Hmm. I don't rightly know the answer to that, to be an to be <laughs> entirely honest. What's the most profitable thing for yourself? Time spent in good company. Ah, a wise man. I see. Crafty. <laughs> All right, do you have all your files now? Yes, I can see them, yeah. All right, so you want to search through the reports. Unfortunately, our forms are a little older than the ones the law use, but they get the job done. Now, if you have a look, you can uh, open up some of the drafts that are here. There's one from Nolan Harper. Do you do have that? Uh, yes, I see that one. All right, well, if you uh, open that up, you can see roughly how he's laid it out. Now, in the, the headline, he's noted down REV. That means it's ready for review. That means I should look at it, make sure it's all all right, and then I can put it in the paper. Okay. As you can see, it's written paid advertisement, because that's what it is. If it's a story, you can write your name, or if it's a story that you'd rather people not know that you wrote, you can put Associated Press. I see. Or you can put my name. Doesn't really matter. But that's that's basically uh, all you need to do. If it's a draft, if you uh, have a look back in your through the clipboard, you can see uh, Ms. Devereaux has uh, a couple of articles in. Caroline, wonderful author. 
and uh, she, she has them marked down as draft. That means she's still working on them. I and see. usually there's notes in there for other reporters or for myself to look at until she's ready. If you have a look down at the, uh, hmm, let's see what's in there at the moment. Uh, Magistries of Strawberry Costume Contest by Ivy. Yes, I see that. All right, you see how the form, there's a checkbox uh, that marks to put it into the newspaper. I do see that, yes. You mustn't touch this, but this is how I tell the printers to put it in. Okay. And then there's a note under the order. The higher the number, the earlier it appears in the newspaper. Oh, Usually so our important announcements go right at the start, and then we have news stories in the middle, and then long-term adverts go at the end. I see. Uh, but this one's a priority four, which means it's fairly high in the newspaper. They're then uh, sequentially organized by the date of writing. That's it, really. Uh, like I said, you won't have to worry about those parts of the form, but just so you're aware, that's, that's what they're there for. Oh, I see. Uh, that seems understandable enough. And then uh, when you've got some uh, adverts in, you can just make a note on our little bulletin that they're in there, ready for me, and I'll have a look. And then it's the uh, um, the person requesting the advert who pays me for said advert. Correct. And they should okay. probably pay you before I put it in the paper. <laughs> uh, understood. Of course, if it's someone, you know, works for the Department of Health or something like that, we can be a little lenient. You know, goodwill. Yes. Plus, they can be quite hard to track down. But you shouldn't work for free, so keep that in mind. Okay. And, and in regards to the obituary, would I just um, use that as a title, like a subject header, or...? Uh, usually for the obituary, for the where we put like paid advertisement, you can put obituary there, and then okay. for the the subject line, usually you can put a nice sentiment or just the person's name. Okay, fair enough. All right, draft that up, mark it for review when you're ready, and I'll uh, take a look and we'll get it in the paper. That sounds great. Thank you, Miss Wright. Very good. And uh, which one was it I told you we could publish? Oh, the, the library advert you can put straight in as it is. And if you tidy up uh, the Bayou one and the Wolf one in line with what we discussed, that can go straight in too. Okay, I I'll do that. Good. All right. Well, and then my assignment is to figure out your husband's telegram number. Well, it's not that important. Find me news. That's your assignment. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I do know his telegram number very well. I'm sure you do, but, uh, you know. But maybe, I would be curious to see what you could find out. Maybe I'll still try. All right. Go have a wonderful time mining. Uh, maybe you'll get some stories. I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you, Miss Wright, for this ah. opportunity. I won't let you down. Let's go. Let's go. Be safe. Trip. Come on. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Wright. You as well. Just great. No, no, just you're fine down. to go. You sure uh, you don't want to come? I have been up for far too long. Trust me. Right. <laughs> Get some rest then. Good rest, Mr. Riley. It's great to see you again. Absolutely. You have a great time mining, all of you. Unicronic, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well.
We're gonna get our horse and get back to Blackwater so we can go to our room. And that new vest, well, we'll just have to go get that in the morning. Or that new jacket, rather. Let's grab Bucket, because I'm so sick of hails. <laughs> hey, buddy! been a while, huh? And you have my shotgun. You see, you're my favorite horse for a reason. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And off we go. I think I'll send a telegram before I actually head up to my room. Um, send a telegram to Atticus saying congratulations. Because, you know, he was off mining and I forgot to say it. Good old Bucket. The very first horse I bought when I arrived in the crossing. Still the best horse. I love this little guy. <laughs> that was a pretty good day of RP, I'd say. 
started out nice and relaxing. And then we got to uh, spend some time with our good friend Atticus. And Miss Sif, whom we hadn't really seen for a while. I don't know, I feel like it was a pretty wholesome stream all around. So, until this point. <laughs> now it's just me yapping. How'd you feel about that? I think our little bit of banter with Miss Wright was pretty good. <laughs> Thinking back on it, that was a good exchange. I like that a lot. longer to go before we're at Blackwater. At least this time, if we do run into another pack of wolves, we have our rifle and our pistol and our machete, so... I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Hopefully Blackwater isn't on fire when we get there, because then that would be another whole, whole thing. We escaped them. See, this is why I prefer frickin' Bucket, man. Nerves of Steel. 
just does not give a shit. Hello. <sighs> I just feel safer on this horse. I don't know. Hasn't disappointed me yet. Did I walk in on a standoff? What is that? Uh, Mr. Way does mining trips and he pays her real well. Uh, so we're all going mining together and make a decent buck. I see. Uh, I actually think if you want to take along, I think there's going to be one seat left open on the cart. <laughs> well, if this had been earlier in the day, I'd have said hell yes, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm running on fumes. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, but... But yeah, I think you can talk to Mr. White. I don't see him around here, but... Uh... Yeah, she's basically selling it for you right now. You just meet a lot of people, and... Uh, sometimes they have, like, singers and stuff. Yeah. And you know what? Hmm. It's, sometimes they're a little bit earlier. I think I heard it. Sometimes they start a little bit earlier. It, sometimes it's seven, but, and then, uh, what's it? One's usually on the weekend, but things have been a bit hectic for Mr. Way, I think. Yeah, he just, like, I think there, there were scheduled two of them this week, but. Yeah, it's normally, like, one a week. Well, one's the minimum. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think he's in the red coat all the way over there by the yeah, stables. Yeah, mm -hmm. But yeah. Right. He pays he pays above market for gems and uh and then he buys like like today we're doing Mount Shan. So he'll buy all the coal off us and then there's another one out in Gap Tooth. I think it's another I see. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, it's like there's an echo a little bit. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> an echo? It's, it's true, though. She's kind of saying the same stuff that he is. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> well, I suppose you'll be... It's true, though. It's a lot of fun. You'll be going mining with uh, Mr. Atticus and Miss Sif today, then. Uh, yeah, they're coming along as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They rode out of roads ahead of me. I had to go back to the stables and actually get a horse, because, uh... Well, Hales just left me in the middle of the woods with nothing, so... Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Critter scare you off, or scare the horse off? No, I think he was just done. <laughs> <laughs> he just decided to be done. Horse was running on fumes, too, and just... Called Must it quits. have been. Yeah, I think so. I tried to give him food plenty of times, but he just kept shaking his little head, so, yeah. Oh, wow. It's a 
strong-willed horse. <laughs> yeah, stubborn as a mule, that one. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that he's my horse. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I think he's just gonna talk here yet. Maybe? Oh, no. I think he... Well, if you need, like, a... I don't know, actually, what he's doing. Maybe we should... Maybe uh, you should all... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just be in the background to eavesdrop, because, you know, information is always good to have. Oh, pardon. Yeah, line for <laughs> I know, we're getting crates to... Uh, we're getting crates to put in the wagon. He's going to give us money for them. Oh, all right. Hmm. Alright, we don't want him to think that we're a part of it, so... Is that Mr. Atticus? I don't know. He's wearing all black suddenly. to the wagon we're going to be shoving off in the next two minutes oh pardon oops sorry not right after you so you're not coming uh, mr geez. riley oh whoops. my my apologies i just so realized right. This this wonderful wagon only has one horse on it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I need to Well, I mean, I did the alphabet system. I dropped off by now. I knew I saw this only when I saw it. If I had the energy, I would go with you. But uh, I am running on fumes. That's, that's all right, Mr. Allen. Not a problem. <laughs> but hey, congratulations. We knew you could do it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to see how this works out. Well, that makes at least three of us, I think. Yeah. yeah I appreciate you, all the confidence that you've imparted on me and, and just your friendship. It's been... I'm honored. Ah, shouldn't be too honored. I'm just some prehistoric guy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe? No, I only see one oh. on it. Yep. That's true, Mr. Riley. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 I hope you get some rest. Get you on the next on next there. trip. <laughs> okay. It'd be my pleasure. Yeah, see you next time, Mr. Riley. You seem Hopefully I don't have to tell any stories of anybody in particular, so. Yeah. 
I hope that particular individual does not show themselves. Let's just hope that the mine is full of good stories and good songs. How about that? <laughs> yeah. And it will be. Keep my eyes open. I reckon it will. Well, it will. And then afterwards, you can tell me. You can tell me all about what mining is like. Hold on a second. Bug it, please. <sighs> Good old bucket. I know, I know, I know. Bucket was the first horse I uh, I got when I got back into the crossing. So. All aboard! Wait, yeah. industry is leaving out for Mount Sim. Mix up strawberry. All right, well, that's us. <laughs> so it is. Yeah, it is. Promise well, lots of stories. <laughs> you can read it. Come to put up here. Yeah, then you get me the pleasant kind. Yeah, you'll we'll get click. to come next time. Oh, absolutely. Hold on, because I must say, I might have my wagon license, but I am a maniac behind these rights. <laughs> now, sir, are you going to be journeying with us, or are you going to tease me with your wonderful blue company for a second time? <laughs> I'm just going to give you all a smile and a wave. <laughs> Indeed, there, sir. Well, have a good one, all right? Have a great one. Hello. <laughs> we are pretty blessed to have so many good days in the crossing. Stop. 
And that's it. That's another day of Pat Riley in the Crossing. I feel very, very fortunate to be able to not only play this character, but meet all the characters that I've been very blessed to meet and spend time with. And yeah, I will just continue to share my story with you. My experience, rather. <laughs> well, I suppose it's both, isn't it? My experience and my story. We're gonna raid Atticus. Because how can I not? <laughs> I've grown fond of the lad. And it just makes sense. <sighs> Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for chatting. I really appreciate you being active in the chat whenever you are. And, yeah, thank you for being on this journey with me. Uh, another six and a half hours of wild RP goodness. Incredible. <laughs> but this is going to be it for us today. Um, yeah, until next time, please just take very good care of yourselves and of others. And I will see you in the next stream. Oh, and please tell Atticus that I sent you, if he doesn't realize. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.